Whiteford taking on the Clinton Red Wolves at the home of the Gray Wolves. Bobcats brought Emmanuel Christian overtime last Monday, continuing their strong play. Cole Giesegate plows into the paint off glass. A 6-0 hedge off the opening tip keeps growing. Shea Ruddy and Luke Razor kick it to Giesegate at the top of the key. He leads the attack from beginning to end. Bobcats open on an 11-0 tear. When Giesegate gets doubled, someone's always open. That's Matt. This time it's Jack Andrews plus two. Giesegate that's a game high 20, up big by the second quarter. Isaiah Jareen crossover special, 60 to 40. Multi-sport stars helping Whiteford get the dunk. Two years ago, not having minimal seniors and last year having only one senior, is something helping us gel together, especially more that we're older and have more wisdom on the court. Now I probably feel like I'm back in my prime basketball conditioning. It's hard coming off football. They're completely different sports. Half our team only plays basketball, so they're already in shape while we're trying to get back into shape those that play football. So it's, it's quite of a journey, but we're, we're here for it and we like it. Greg Frankie and Coach Derek Sheridan have the extra point. Well, when you got a bunch of players that play a different sport and they get a late start in basketball, let's say in this case, it's supposed to hurt you. But this Whiteford team came out and gave a highly ranked Emmanuel Christian team everything they could handle and came out and just looked outstanding against a good Clinton team today. So, Coach, it doesn't look like that's affecting them too much. No, it most certainly doesn't. You know, the cohesiveness they have with one another and the way they pass the basketball and attack and transition, I think they look like they're, they're on their way to having one heck of a season. Cole Giesegui was the leading scorer, and Isaiah Joreen looked outstanding at the point, distributing the ball and scoring himself. But it's honestly a game where you could probably, and it's not a cliche, single out any player they had and say they look really, really good today. Oh, absolutely. I think Giesegui looks great. Uh, I'm really impressed with uh, with the Andrews boy. I think he, he's a, a fine addition to that team, and he's kind of the, the hub that keeps everything together for him on the defensive end with the way he is so skilled at helping and recovering. And they play so well together, just so much chemistry in their passing game is just phenomenal, especially for a bunch of football players, as uh, people might think. But they look outstanding today, beating Clinton, and watch for this team as the season goes on.